I'm going to go through this example problem of a material balance on a single unit with a bypass stream. The problem statement says, in an ethanol production plant, a separator is used to recover 99% ethanol product. The separator has two outlet streams, the ethanol product stream and a residual water stream. A portion of the feedstock to the process is bypassed to be mixed with the residual water stream leaving the separator. The feedstock stream is 85% water and 15% ethanol by weight, and it flows at a flow rate of 450 pounds per minute. 30% of the feedstock is bypassed. The separator removes 60% of the ethanol originally in the feedstock. Determine the composition of the residual water stream right after leaving the separator and right after the mixing point of the bypass stream. The first step in any material balance problem is to draw a process flow diagram. So you need to translate this problem statement in words to a diagram. So in this problem, the only unit that we're going to be dealing with is the separator. It told us there are two streams leaving the separator, the product stream and the residual water stream. We also know that there's going to be a bypass stream going from the feedstock to the residual water stream. For simplicity, I'm going to denote water as W and ethanol as E. Next, I'm going to go through and label all the streams and fill in any of the values that we are already given from the problem statement. So this is all of the information given from the problem statement. We know the flow rate of the feedstock. We know the composition of the feedstock. We know the composition of the alcohol product stream. We know that 30% of the feedstock is bypassed. And we know that 60% of the ethanol is recovered in this alcohol product. The easiest place to start in this problem is to calculate the mass flow rate of the bypass stream, since we know that 30% by mass of the feedstock is going to be bypassed. You'll calculate that m.3, the bypass stream, is 135 pounds per minute. From here, we can calculate m2, the mass flow rate, directly into the separator by doing a mass balance on the bypass point. Doing that, you get that m2 is 315 pounds per minute. Another piece of information that we can get from the bypass is the composition of M2 and M3. When the feedstock splits off and that M3 bypass is created, it doesn't alter the chemical composition of the original feedstock. So M2 and M3 are going to have the same mass fractions as M1. The next thing that we can calculate is the mass flow rate of the product stream leaving the separator. Since we know that 60% of the ethanol from the feedstock is recovered here, we can calculate 60% of the ethanol by weight originally in the feedstock and then set that equal to the mass flow rate of the product stream times the ethanol max fraction of the product stream. When you do this, you calculate that M4 is 40.9 pounds per minute. Using mass balances, we can calculate both M5 and M6. To calculate M6, you can do a mass balance on the entire process. So the feedstock is the th one thing coming in, and the product stream and the residual water are the only things leaving. So M1 is going to be equal to M4 plus N6. M6 is equal to 409.1 pounds per minute. Now we can do a mass balance around the separator to calculate M5. M5 is equal to 274.1 pounds per minute. Now we know all the mass flow rates in the process and all the compositions except for streams 5 and 6. To calculate the first answer for the problem, the composition of stream 5, I'm going to do a species balance around the separator. You can do it on either water or ethanol, but I'm going to choose to do it on water and calculate the mole fraction of water in stream 5. Doing that, you'll find that the residual water stream directly leaving the separator is 97% water. And since this is just a binary stream with water and ethanol, we know that the ethanol must be 3% of the stream. This is our final answer for the composition of the residual water stream directly out of the separator. Finally, to get the composition of the residual water stream after the bypass mixing point, I'm going to do another species balance on the water, except this time I'm going to do a species balance around the entire process. 
doing this you'll find that after the mixing it is 93% water. Again, since the mole fractions have to balance to one, this means that the final residual water stream leaving is 93% water and 7% ethanol. I hope you liked this video and that it helped you understand how to perform material balances on a single unit with a bypass stream. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more material and energy balance videos.